Hi guys, I hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. Um, thank you for joining us um, to walk through 2 John and 3 John in Jude. So this is the third day of going through this. And um, I kind of want to go over a little bit about what Seth went over yesterday. So his verses talked about um, that John is happy to hear that the listeners are walking in truth and um, that we are asked to love one another and walk in obedience to the commandments, which also means to walk in love. So that kind of leads into what I'm going to read today, which is verse 7 and 8. So knowing that um, John just said, awesome, great for you guys. I'm so happy to hear that a lot of you are um, walking in truth and walking in obedience, but be mindful. Okay, so now we're going to read 7 and 8 in my NIV Bible. I say this because many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such person is the deceiver and the anarchist. Watch out that you do not lose what we have worked for, but that you may be rewarded fully. So he's heeding this as a warning. He's saying, I'm very happy that you guys are walking in the truth, um, that you are walking in love. However, be weary of those who have gone out into the world. So when they say um, that these deceivers have gone out into the world, they mean that these people are teaching false stories. They may believe different things um, that, are, that are not necessarily true. They may believe that um, Jesus didn't rise again or that he never came. Um, so those would be the deceivers. And I kind of want to walk us back through um, 1 John chapter 4, um, verse 1 through 3, because this kind of gives us a little bit more of a background of what we see as a deceiver, because he tells us exactly what a deceiver is and what to look for. Um, so, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. And he just goes into explaining it. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is from God. This is the spirit of the anarchists, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. So that kind of foreshadowed what we're talking about today because in this verse, we very clearly see that we are supposed to be looking out for these people, these people that are telling us that Jesus did not come in flesh, that he was not here on earth. Um, so First John really shows us a lot of those things, and it kind of, these anarchists and people who are disobedient um, and deceivers are really trying to undermine the glory and kingdom of God. Um, so we're supposed to watch out. He says, watch out that you do not lose what we have worked so hard for. Because I know that myself and all of us, and I'm sure you guys, have all worked very hard to get where we are today. And we don't want to lose those things by falling into those who are deceiving us. Um, 1 John chapter 3, verse 7 says, Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. And he's saying it again right here to watch out for those people so that we don't lose what we have worked so hard to have and that we really, really want to be able to be rewarded fully when we are done here on earth and if we fall into deceit with these people to these anarchists that we could lose that so um that is what i have for you today so i'm going to close out in prayer and i hope to see you um joining in the next two days and then again next week so father god please use this time as time to fellowship and be with you um, I pray that we have a watchful eye for those who are trying to deceive us and take us away from everything that we have worked so hard for so that we can be fully rewarded. I pray that you are with us every step of the way and that you can help guide us and lead us to, to you and to help bring people along with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you have a great day.